So on August 19th of 2013, at about 7 p.m., we received a, a dispatch for uh, what was initially reported as a man in a field with some type of arm injury. As we were responding, we were getting more information from the scene. Given the nature of the injury, we requested a medical helicopter to be dispatched to the scene. Uh, and as the captain, I also requested the fire department to respond because they typically set up the landing zone for the helicopter. As we arrived, um, the injured farmer was out in a field, so he was about a quarter mile off the road. The individual was um, baling hay using a tractor and a round baler, and the baler became plugged. And so in trying to free himself, the machine kicked into gear and uh, his arm was, was uh, amputated. A neighbor or a bystander had had some quick thinking and used a belt to apply a partial tourniquet to the shoulder and that was able to slow the, uh, the bleeding somewhat. And so our first concern was stabilizing the patient, making sure we could prevent him from going into shock. We stabilized the patient at the scene and then we transported him to the, the landing zone where LifeNet helicopter um, was able to land and then they transported the patient uh, to the trauma center. The ambulance squad, the, the fire department, the sheriff's department, and the helicopter service in, all in conjunction and coordination through the 911 dispatch center really worked uh, as a team to make sure that this patient got the care he needed, that the ability to get him transported quickly and efficiently to the trauma center was all in place. And I think it's the difference between him being alive and uh, being able to enjoy uh, his family and, and, uh, and uh, um, what could have been a much more uh, disastrous outcome than it was.